they're lined up now for the junior surf race. Uh, yes, there's the start of the Junior Surf Race Championship of Australia. Well, the uh, competitors are starting to sort themselves out. You see some get a better start than the others. They're able to take two or three steps more than the others. But Manly is uh, going through very, very strongly simply because of the fact that uh, he knows exactly where he wants to go having planned this uh, race prior to the start of it. He's using the bottom to every advantage. And you see, as I predicted, those uh, competitors get onto the bank and uh, use the bank fast as they head out towards the sea. Some competitors are still swimming there using the bottom with every advantage they possibly can. They'd be using their hands and their feet uh, to go onto these water, under the waves. They're about uh, 20 metres to go at this stage as they go out towards the to clear the bank, there's a few big waves out there that's going to cause some difficulty for them. There's nothing much separating any of the uh, competitors as they head out towards the, the first turning buoy. In front at the moment is Johnny Walker from Bronte who's got the best of the break on the northern side. He's slightly in front, very toey as a swimmer and knows how to surf also. And Freshwater is very well placed, so it's going over the top of that wave. It's John Walker of Bronte followed by Freshwater. And these uh, two competitors are well placed. Allura is coming up very fast on the northern side. And behind them is another Allura competitor. In the middle, we see Rinnington Manley starting to make his break at the moment. But uh, they're no slouches, these juniors. You'll find them competing, uh, as we've seen throughout the day, in boards and skis, in Ironman, in swimming races, belt races, and R&R. &R. And uh, they're all superbly fit, and they know how to surf. Of course, the surf is quite now a little bit over the last uh, two days, but it gives the good swimmers a, a very even opportunity. But as they go through now, it is still uh, the Bronny competitor, John Walker from Bronny, in front. He's being followed by Allura, and those competitors are slightly in front of the bunch of the main team, which contains Rinnington and also another competitor out there, Walker and Jamie Kearsley from uh, Western Australia. All those swimmers are well placed and they're heading out towards the turning boy. The white boy is the first turning boy they'll be going to, and uh, as we put the glasses on to, to see how they go, there's a flurry of arms as they go through. Uh, and a still walker of Bronte is in front. Allura is in second place. And further back to Freshwater. Rennington and Manley is coming through in the middle of those bunch of swimmers of freshwater and another Lura competitor and coming up to the final boy. Now, it's interesting for these competitors to try and pick the alleys. Have they chosen, uh, have been viewing it all day, watching the races before them to pick the alley in which they want to return back to the beach? It appears to me that Walker is on a very good course back to the beach. He's probably got 100 metres to swim before he gets any opportunity of picking up a wave. Can John Walker of Bronte uh, hold on to this lead uh, and uh, return back to the beach to win the Junior Surf Championship of Australia? At the moment, coming up very fast on Walker is uh, Riddington. He's uh, moved up into second place. And uh, just behind uh, Riddington is Freshwater, but uh, Walker is well placed. He, he doesn't want to go any further south or he'll move into that rip uh, that's causing a little bit of problems. But there we see Freshwater just on top of that. Now Walker of Bronte on top of that wave and pushing. It doesn't look as though there is any uh, assistance there for him, but it's still John Walker of Bronte is in front in this Junior Surf Championship. On the other side, uh, Riddington is coming down fast on uh, Walker's left-hand side, which is uh, in the rip area, but most certainly the waves will break that way first. Here's a few waves out there for the uh, swimmers if they can push onto it. Walker will be trying it. Riddington's coming down fast. Have a look at Freshwater pushing. There he goes Walker to see can he push onto it. He should have stopped swimming to uh, see if he could break that wave, but he couldn't. So it's uh, unfortunate for Walker. There's a big wave out the back. Walker is not a good wader, and uh, Riddington's a little higher, and so is the Freshwater guy. But the competitors are coming through to the beach. And here's a wave out the back. It's anybody's race now. It's a smorgasbord as eight competitors take the wave uh, coming through. Unfortunate for John Walker. See, can he pick it up broken? One's gone over the top of him. He's dropped off, but Freshwater is on the top. A competitor actually went over the top of Walker, which is quite fair. No interference at all. Southport of Queensland is holding it right through to the beach. So it's Southport of Queensland has picked up. Here comes uh, also City of Perth. It looks like Kearsley of City of Perth across the line. 
South Florida Queensland has fallen down. He wants to stand. In comes uh, Modison of uh, Manly, then Riddington of Manly. So what a great finish. Very unfortunate for John Walker. Led from go to woe. A heap of competitors came through on a wave. A long way up the back. Walker had a go at trying to pick it up. Brogan was actually ridden upon, interfered with, I would say, and pushed down where he had no chance of having a go that wave. Bad luck to Johnny Walker. A great bit of surfing to City of Perth, winner of the Junior Surf Championship. And here's the official result of that Junior Surf race. It was Jamie Kearsley from City of Perth who was first. Uh, Sam Brook of Southport in Queensland was second. And Mortensen from Manly in New South Wales was third.